What's up, you guys? Today, I am so flippin' excited. We have never really done a video in this room other than when I'm filming the Daily Grind or whenever I'm recording my podcast, so welcome. And I figured that this was super appropriate to do on this channel because this is going to be the mother of any video that I've ever done on goal setting and on getting your life together. So what I wanted to do today was take you through my three simple steps to actually get it together and how to implement change once and for all. And I also have some free treasures for you guys. So if that's something you want to see, then just keep watching. So here's the deal. We just announced that we are launching a workbook before the end of this year. It will almost be a year since we launched our Daily Grind Planner. I have it right in front of me. I use this thing every single day and the Daily Grind brand has become more than I ever thought that it would be over the past year. But that's not why we're here. We're here to talk about goals. And under this umbrella is going to be the new workbook. And if anybody has a strong opinion on workbooks, it would be this girl. And here's the thing with workbooks. They're great. But more often than not, like 99% of the time, it might as well be called a notebook because the author basically puts a question and then it's a bunch of lines on a piece of paper for you to fill out and for you to do the work. I want to do the work for you. So let me give you a little sneak peek into what the workbook is going to look like, because that is the number one question that I've gotten this week is, are you going to show us the inside of the workbook before you launch it? Heck yeah. Um, I'm going to do you one better. I'll give you one of the pages for free. So super easy. And there's no catch angiebelmar.com slash workbook. You can download it for free. It's going to ask you for your email. And what I'm going to do with that email is let you know when the thing is launching. I'm not that person that's going to send you a bunch of emails. Cause frankly, I don't like when people do that to me. So that's like the most of emails that you'll get. You'll get a confirmation to download it and we'll let you know when the workbook is launching. Um, it's so pretty. So on this page, this is what I'm going to go through with you today. I'm going to share my three simple steps to help you get your life together and actually achieve some real goals. Now I had to make this into an acronym that you would remember, and we're going to call it Ange. You're welcome. So number one is to assess. I love a good self-assessment and that's really what this is. So this one pager that you can literally, you could pause me, go download it right now and follow through with me if you'd like, that could be kind of cool. So what I, my hope for you is that you can either use this as a PDF if you're someone that likes to draw on pages, or you can print it out and follow along with me. What this is, is a few simple prompts that will help you realistically self-assess where you're at right now. And I call this the My Life Floor Plan. Now, the entire workbook is very much going to have a little bit of tributes and nods to the fact that I did study architecture, and that's why it's called the Dream Life Blueprint. So we are going to take you through the floor plan of your life. Now, the very first question that I want you to go through and I want you to be as honest as possible is what is the first thing that you do or prioritize when you open the doors of your day? So what I mean by this is what's the first thing that you see? What's the first thing that you grab? What's the first thing that your mind goes to when you open your eyes and start your day? So let me give you some examples. Do you grab your phone and grab social media right away and browse Twitter? Do you head to the bathroom, brush your teeth and listen to a podcast. Like what is the first things, three things that your mind consumes? You don't have to overthink this just in your gut. What's the first couple things. So if you guys saw my morning routine, the first couple of things that I do is I head straight downstairs and I do my workout. So for me, one of the first things that I prioritize in a day currently, and the point of this is to really assess where you're currently at so that we can then make changes and we can get your life together. So one of the first things that I do is a workout. One of the first things I used to do was sit in bed and scroll Instagram. One of the first things that I used to do was get right on my phone and text people. One of the first things I used to do was turn on the TV. What are the first things that you do at the opening of your day? Like you are going through the doors of that floor plan of your life. What are the first three things that you do in your day? What does that look like? And don't judge yourself. This isn't about that. It's about self-assessing. So that's question number one. Question number two, this would be the kitchen. Where are you spending the majority of your day? Now, I don't real, I don't mean like legitimately like where in your house are you spending your time? Maybe you are in your house, but I mean it metaphorically. Like where are you spending the majority of your time? Are you 
working for someone? Are you working at a business? Are you spending the majority of your time seated at a desk? Are you spending the majority of your time outside? What does that look like? Like, where is the majority of your time being spent? And if you have to do that wheel of time, if you've never done that with me, go over to the daily grind page. I've done a couple of them, but figure out where you're spending the majority of your time. And again, just three, three quick things. I don't want this workbook to be one of those things where you are seated and you just are writing and writing and writing and you never get through the workbook. This workbook is going to be like, let's figure out where you're at and let's freaking change your life. So that's question number two. Question number three over here. And I made this, this is where the washroom is because the question is, what are you doing to recharge and get some alone time. Now, for most of us, our alone time happens, especially if we have like family or children or, or pets, the one time that you're alone in the day is when you go to the washroom. So, but really though, and metaphorically again, like where, where are you getting that time to recharge? Like, is it when you're maybe sketching or journaling or planning out your day in the morning? Is it that alone time of waking up early? How do you recharge the battery? How are you doing that? And if you're not right, I'm not doing that. I need to do this. Like it's supposed to be three prompts of three gut checks. So what are you doing to recharge and get alone time? Because everybody needs that. All right. Now this one goes into the living room where the TV is. And there's a reason for that. What do you do in your downtime or when you're bored? This was a super interesting question that I wanted to include in the workbook, because if you were to sit down and think, What is your gut reaction anytime that you have a moment alone, anytime that you have a moment of boredom, anytime that you have a moment where you're not distracted, how do you treat that moment? I'll tell you what your gut reaction probably is. Right? More often than not, we just grab our phone and we just mindlessly scroll. So what is your gut reaction when you have any free downtime or you're bored? What are you doing? TV, phone, social media. What does that look like for you? Grabbing a book maybe? I mean, it doesn't all have to be bad. I really realistically want to know what your life currently looks like. And we're not yet doing what you want it to look like. Now, if you keep moving down, I want to know what you do to fill your cup and feel amazing. So in the Daily Grind Planner, I actually have a spot every single day on the daily pages that says right here, to feel amazing, I will. And the reason that I put that is we don't often take time in a day to do the little things that will make us feel amazing. And it can be something as simple as, so on mine today, I have do my hair, do my makeup, like look presentable and not like a drowned rat. It makes a difference. Get my nails done. By that, I mean me do them. Film some videos because that fills my cup and decorate. Boom. So what are you going to do or what do you do currently that fills your cup and helps you feel amazing. Now, the last one, obviously we had to include the bedroom. When and where are you sleeping, resting, or napping? So I wanna know how often are you sleeping your life away? Where are you napping? Where are you resting? And this can be positive and negative. The point of this really is to self-assess. It's not to make you feel like crap about yourself, it's to help you gut check where you're actually at. So this is the A in Ange you're gonna assess. And one cool thing at the bottom, which we're going to get to, there's a little bit of notes here for you to quickly just implement what you're going to move forward with. So number one is the A in Ange. So you're going to assess, you're going to go through that floor plan. You can go download it, do that with me. Number two is the N, no negotiating. So yesterday I actually shared something in my stories and I got quite a few questions about this and I screenshotted the answer because I thought it was really interesting. So a lot of people said, after seeing me stay up pretty late and trying to get one of the most recent videos up, they said, oh my God, after watching your stories from nighttime, I was going to say, there's no way she's waking up at 5 a.m. today, RIP. And I wrote back, ha ha ha, rule of life. Don't negotiate with myself, making magical ish happen. It's like my new thing, making magical ish happen. How do you make magical ish happen? Don't negotiate with terrorists. The terrorist is your brain. Because your brain will tell you you can't. Your brain will explain to you all the reasons why it's just more cozy to stay in bed and sleep in and not work hard or that it's difficult and it's uncomfortable. I don't negotiate with myself. I don't negotiate with my brain. So no negotiating. That's the end. No negotiating. Be real. Don't BS yourself. If you're going through this and you're sugarcoating the whole thing, 
you are doing no one a disservice but yourself and your future self and possibly your family and all the goals you guys want to achieve and the ones that you love most and how that will impact them. So why not just be as honest as possible, sometimes brutally honest and assess yourself properly. But I think the goal in all of this is to create a game plan and a routine that you are thrilled and excited with that could potentially change your life. But the only way that you can do that is to not negotiate with yourself, not sugarcoat things, not BS yourself and not do your future self, the ones you love most and possibly your children and your goals and all the things that you want in your life a disservice by BSing and sugarcoating. So be honest, don't negotiate and let's set up a game plan, shall we? Based off of that self-assessment that you've done. So assess, no negotiating. Number three, get to work, implement it. So at the bottom of this one pager, I have four little lines. You don't even need to use them all. What can I adjust to improve my life now? So how can you implement now? Get to work and implement now. That's the G in Ange. So what can you do now based off of this? And I would love if you guys would tag me in your own notes on Instagram. You guys can drop in the comments below all the answers to this and how you're feeling if you just want to kind of vibe it out. This, by the way, this channel is super positive the amount of amazing humans on here that like encourage each other. If you want to see an even more positive space, which blows my mind is the daily grind page. Like I go live pretty much every single day. We have like premiere videos and there's a live chat that pops off and we literally do this live. So what can you do now that you could implement, like get to work on that. So if there's something that you wrote in here that you're like, dang, I need to work on that. Just, just note it. What can you implement now and work on it tomorrow as soon as tomorrow morning or now, heck now. So go download that one pager. Those are my three tips to get your ish together, to get your life together. I call it ish because I don't swear on YouTube. I might swear elsewhere, but don't swear on YouTube. So number one, assess. Number two, no negotiating, no BS. Number three, get to work and implement it now. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys. I love hanging out with you guys and doing this. And it was really cool to be able to hang out in this room. Oh, and the new layout that you guys saw me clean and decorate and set up, which I hope that you love. This will also be on the podcast, by the way, if you want the audio version of it. And again, totally free. Just go to angiebelmar.com slash workbook, add to cart, and we will send you the PDF of this like right away. Cool. You guys are amazing. If you did enjoy this, definitely give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Be following on Instagram. You can follow the Daily Grind page on Instagram also. Oh, and the Daily Grind YouTube page. I'll link everything in the description box below, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, dudes.